Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back with episode 3 of the Auto Legends Deep Dives. Today we are actually going over the 6th Street Bridge. Now, this is a real place, so we're going to click on it and we're going to check it out here in a minute. But, little side note while this is loading, if you want a good funny for the day. Fun fact, I've had the same microphone for probably 5 plus years now for my computer. And I was today years old when I realized it was backwards on the stand. 100% backwards on the stand. I only just realized it today. So, I might be a little louder now. Sorry. <laughs> or that's a good thing. Uh, oop, I forgot my free cam was still enabled. Welcome to the 6th Street Bridge. Now, one feature in Auto Legends is you can kind of choose where you want to park. Um, unfortunately, there's a bug in the alpha right now, which, remember, this is alpha. You, anything and everything can change at any given moment. So what you are seeing is basically, when you first enter a meet, you can select where you want to park, depending on, you know, if it's enabled for that race room or not. So I'm going to just select that I'm parked here. Spot 8, whatever. There is a live chat, which is really freaking awesome, for the specific room that you're in. There is also leaderboards and the ability to repark. And then this is to view spectator races, which nobody is on right now. I can't spectate a race, but we will go over spectator view at a later date. So let's go over the leaderboard real quick because the leaderboard is admittedly pretty basic right now and is going to change in the future. But there are some people you might recognize on this leaderboard of like Beast Mode, Sonic. Uh, I don't know who New York is, but Jesus Christ, have they been racing a lot. So, hey, look, it's me off to the left. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, 6th Street Bridge. Let me show you what this place is in real life. So for the moment, we're going to switch to my desktop. But this is a real place, and you can even see the burnout marks from uh, the Takeover Kids. That's kind of what this area is a little bit famous for. And then there's the L.A. Uh, trenches. I don't know what they're actually called. The rail yard and all that. But yeah, this is a real place, which is freaking awesome. This is a real place. You know, you can actually... Somebody was doing motorcycle burnouts, it looks like. That's pretty sick. But yeah, real place. Pretty freaking awesome. I love it. So... Getting back to Auto Legends, what can you do here? Well, you can go up and you can browse the cars. You can take a look at your friends' cars. If you have, like, your friends are all in the same room, you could all park together with Repark, which is pretty freaking awesome. How accurate is the skyline? I wonder if I'm facing the other direction? No. Okay, got it. So all these buildings and stuff are just added for visual got it we will free cam this here in a bit just like every other channel but just to show off so like here's you know someone's honda civic i can scroll around it i can check it out pretty freaking awesome car and then you come in and you can you know this guy doesn't have the ability to race that's strange so we'll go down actually it looks like all of the cars are kind of broken Oh, no, they're not. They just don't have usernames above them. That's very strange. But as you can see, if you scroll around the cars, you can kind of see them fade in and out for the car next to you. So you can get a good look at the car, which is pretty cool. I really like that feature. And then you can, you know, obviously you can either scroll up and down with your mouse. You can scroll back and forth with W and S. Or you can simply just open up the chat list, go to users, and see who is in the room with you, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, let's get on with what else we can do here. So, what is, how do you send a race? Sixth Street obviously allows you to send races. Pretty freaking cool. You can actually race people here. So we're going to go to challenge, and there are multiple ways to race in this game. And I'll make a video specifically about racing at a later date. But basically, that's what you can do is you just race people. You can select your money amount, or you can select pink slip if it's a real person. This is a bot. So I can't race pink slip with a bot, but there are two different types of challenges for now. There's private challenge and public challenge, which private means you race basically immediately. Public means you get to wait in the queue line and then people can watch your race live, which like I said, we'll go over spectator mode at a later date. 
But for right now, there's not much else I can go over with Six Street. So let's pop open the free cam real quick. And then next video, we'll talk about racing. Give me one sec. So admittedly, free cam does break some lighting effects, but that's okay. Uh, not much I can really do about it. But yeah, it's really cool. Let's see how far this actually goes. It goes pretty far, pretty sick. And it's just, you know, a general outline of an area just to make it look realistic. Pretty sick. General game design kind of stuff, which is not surprising at all. You don't want to put, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that can't be interacted with because it causes lag and frame rate drops and stuff like that. But you can actually see there's like all the different animated uh, CPU people and all that. There's a couple that just stand there for an ambient background. It's pretty cool. I like the overall feel of uh, this environment for not only the car meet aspect, but also um, other aspects like, you know, racing. I, I think racing at night is honestly more fun than racing during the day, personally. So I'm not against this, you know, at all. I love this idea of Sixth Street Bridge, but... There's not much in the way of Easter eggs yet with 6th Street that I can see. Whoa, we went through the road. But yeah, I mean, there's basically all the buildings all down here at the end. Let's see what they say on them. Because you can't really see it from that far away. VC Industrial, Finn, Citizen First Trust, Clutch, Financial Tower, Some Bank. <laughs> I love that. I don't know what bank it is. It's some bank. <laughs> Precision. That's kind of a cool name, actually. This in First Trust, VC Industrial, VC Industrial. And this really cool circular building. Pretty cool. Yeah. Now, I love what they're doing with the environments in this game. I really do. I hope that they do hide some Easter eggs in the buildings and stuff like that at some point. But like I said in the previous episode, you don't really want to entice people to do what I'm doing. I'm just doing this for the content. But, you know, eventually, Sixth Street is freaking awesome. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video about Sixth Street Bridge. It's a really fun little area. I'm sure it will pick up even more as the game progresses in development. Like I said, it's alpha stages. Expect things to change. It's just going to happen. Hey, this RX-7 has its headlights up. I want to do that during the day. I want the ability to do that during the day. Is there an NSX? No, there's not. Just this one. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys are excited for episode four where we go over uh, Tustin. Or actually, we'll probably go over racing on 6th Street just to keep it in order. And then video after that, we'll talk about Tustin. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Peace out.